Uh, is it okay if we ask you a few questions about bullying? Yes. Okay, have you ever experienced any type of bullying, emotional or physical, yourself? No. Yeah, have you ever seen it happen in front of you? Not really. Not really? Any teasing that could be borderline bullying? Well, of course. I mean, like, it depends how you take it. Depends how the person, it. like, absorb the, like, tension. Is there is there a line you think between just teasing and when it gets to you know, emotionally hurt somebody? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Like when you like insult somebody's like weight or if you insult like something somebody's obviously self conscious on. Something they can't they can't do to change. Yeah. So my question is uh what would you do if you saw somebody getting bullied that you didn't know? You know someone who was getting made fun of for their weight pushed around or something, what, would you take any action or would you, would you kind of just let it be their business? I would just be nice to the person that's being hurt because, like, I can't really do anything against the other person, but I could always be nice to the other person that's being hurt. So you wouldn't like, intervene? I didn't really do anything. <laughs>
Well, we try to do everything we can to minimize bullying going on by making sure that kids all know their rights, that the students are aware of, of what kind of things can cause bullying, like, for example, Facebook. Um, <clears throat> we try to get them to be more reflective and reactionary. Mm -hmm. A lot of the bullying comes about from a sense of insecurity and a sense of power. Mm -hmm. So we need to have kids to, um, to be able to respond to that in a positive manner. Now, sometimes that takes an individual of a lot of strength, but it also takes maybe their friends identifying that there's bullying going on and Billy being willing to support it to the administration, teachers, and so forth, so we can then step in and either counsel or discipline um, kids who are using that power sense to intimidate others. And what kind of suggestions do you make for, there are certain kids who maybe aren't as proactive and don't report the incidents and they don't have such a strong emotional base support system and so they kind of bury these feelings and they go on just, just holding things in. You're never really sure. talking to you. So there, are, there are two ways that, that I've seen over my years. First of all, it's, sometimes it's not the individual who's getting bullied that will report it. Maybe not their closest friends, but somebody on the outskirts that sees it. Mm -hmm. And just last week, I had, a, um, I had a student come to me and said, look, I'm just not comfortable with what I saw. I don't know, even know who the person is who eventually found out. I don't know what happened, but I just felt that this person was being put in a bad position. Doesn't know the person, but they're on the outskirts. Second thing is, I think in, in schools you need to have a safe harbor for students, and that could be a classroom teacher, uh, could be a tutorial. The unit lunch is a perfect opportunity for somebody to, to walk up to, a, to an administrator or a teacher and simply say, I have a concern. Uh, I just need to tell you something. Right. Uh, and kids have taken tremendous advantage of the unit lunch and of the tutorial time to meet with, to meet with their counselors, right. administrators, and they've been able with our schedule to develop a relationship with teachers that in, in traditional schools, they don't get a chance to do that. So it's really just, a lot of it is down to the, the kids, whether you know them or not. To help out. Yeah, even yeah. even like the weekend, you know, and I, I had to say this to you guys because you're going to grow up in this world. Facebook is the kiss of death. Mm -hmm. um, things get put on Facebook. There's no responsibility <clears throat> being held for what what's being said. Now you even have anonymous uh, websites right. where you can just post things about people. And it's a horrible way to operate. And um, sometimes right now, we're so new into the bullying law, kids are just finding their avenues to report some of this stuff. But what we're getting is we'll get somebody like yourself come in and say, I've seen this on Facebook. You need to know about it because somebody's being hurt by this. Right. And we really appreciate people stepping up and caring about others. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I think that's, uh, that's basically all. Thank you very much for your questions. All right. Hey, you must be the new kid. Yeah, right? Nice to meet you. Welcome to our school. Hey. Who do you think you are? Yes. Loser. Hey! Oh, 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 you got the Oh, no, man. Please come out. Why don't you get in my car? Stop! All right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, welcome to our school. That's fun. Yeah. Don't come back. Yeah. Yeah. I see you dead. All right? I'm taking the papers. Come on, guys. That's <laughs> so nice. <laughs> Hey, you're cute. Toss of the hand because the face can't stand. 